Uh, I want to get this out and uh, see if my uh, beautiful Wilkinson heavy duty will fit in there. Give me a sec. The springs are very heavy duty. Just like what came in one of the other guitars. Alrighty. It's loose. Wow, there's almost nothing to that. I suppose we got rid of these saddles, although some people like those. Um, there's no slot, you know, and the strings can move back and forth between these set screws. I don't like these old uh, old style stamp saddles, but somebody likes this vintage stuff. Uh, maybe with a new set of saddles, keep the plate and put a heavier block on there. It could be reused for, you know, something. Okay, so without further ado, let's see <clears throat> how much work I'm going to have to do. to get Wilkinson to fit in there. This beautiful bridge. Ooh. I don't know exactly where it should be, but uh, this first one lines up. And then there's no hole underneath the low E. Let's compare the holes and the strings. Okay. So it looks like if I line up the first hole and use it, the saddles line up with this one which means that I have to fill these and re-drill but I can use the first one as my guidance so I think I'm going to be able to use this bridge it's just all going to be part of the big mod yay my Friday morning, oh, it's afternoon now, yep, it's almost one o'clock, for me it's still morning. And this comes with a nice push in uh, with the adjustable screw, whammy. Okay, so that's a go. Now, the other thing that See, the circuit card is supposed to be installed here underneath the pick card right up in there and then a little channel has to be put in here for the wires to come down into the cavity now they've got this uh, battery clip thing soldered to the board which I'm probably going to need to take off and replace because my battery box that's coming in today I want to see where see because I've got to wire it to the jack there's a new jack with stereo and so there's lots of meat down here I might be able to put a battery box in here or closer to there well, I'll have to find out where the cap... Look, well, let's take a look. Let's just take a look. Because there's a cavity for this, too. Oh, God. <clears throat> yes. So there's, the, there's quite a deep cavity. It's actually routed all the way. Wow. Maybe an A. 
eighth. Uh, I'd say probably just like under a quarter of an inch between the back and the bottom of this cavity, which was really deep. And then in this cavity, um, yeah, so this part here is not as deep as the jack cavity for whatever reason they made it that deep for the jack. Um, and they made a step here for under the pots. Um, I've got double ganged pots. Ooh, gigantic pot that goes on this uh, modification. So I think I might have to have more routing. Oh yeah. I'm going to have to take that lip down to get that pot. Yeah, I'm going to have to take that lip down to get that to get that pot in because that this is obviously not the volume one. This is the Yeah, this is the center one which goes in the middle, which would be right there. These would be okay. Uh, that's a 250. Yeah, see, that'll fit in there okay if it was on the pick guard, but not that double. So I'm going to have to take some meat out of down there as well, as well as cut the box for this to fit in. So um, I think, I don't know if I mentioned it, we'll, we'll see. Let's put those back in the box for now. I don't really need the bag. Except for where's the hardware? Oh, okay. All the hardware is in another bag. Um, oh, and a nice jack. There's a nice, nice stereo jack that we will have to wire up. It's a switchcraft. Oop, I almost, almost lost it. It's a switchcraft which uh, won't fit on this jack plate. I'll have to also remount the jack plate because they don't give you one of these so I'll just have to remount the jack plate to be able to get the uh, larger threads to go in it's not by much uh, yep so I um, I bought bits um, freehand bits that have uh, without the roller on it uh, try to, to cut this out and I measured it's got to be about a half inch plus a sixteenth of deep to cover the height of the tallest capacitor on the board. But plus I want to put a little, I want to put this little bit of foam underneath of it. So I want the board to sit on this inside the cavity. Where is it? There it is. <clears throat> so I'm going to cut this, I'm going to put it in there. I want it to sit on the foam like that. So that'll be my cushion. And then I just have to put a couple of small screws in either corner just to hold it from plopping around inside there. And that'll be my suspension inside there. And that came with something in the kit here. Or something else that I, I saved it from something. I don't know. I don't know. There's so many parts flying around. Do my best to try to keep track of stuff. So yes, I am going to have to fill these holes. Uh, ooh, got the perfect dowels to cut and uh, hammer down in there. Glue them in nice and tight, and then uh, the redrilling will be part of the overall rework. I'm going to disconnect the neck because all this work is going to be done, you know, separate from the from the neck work. Uh, no, the frets on this ST62 are pretty good. Um, actually, they're they're very good. Um, you wouldn't cut yourself on any of them, even up here. The frets are small, um, like a vintage style fret. And that uh, caramelized neck is very nice. The neck feels really nice too. A little bit wide. Uh, a little bit bigger than some that I have. 
but but it feels very nice. I think it starts uh, C and goes to U here. Or, or which one is which one's the flatter one? I would have thought the C was flatter. Yeah, the C flatter. So it starts C, and then it gets thicker as you come up here. <clears throat> All right. I don't think there's anything wrong with that claw, so I won't have to do any of that stuff. Let's loosen this up. And these are tight. I'm probably going to need to drill out the holes in the body on this one. not. No, they did it. And this one came with the plastic insulator. So Harley Benton stuff is not standard. Uh, some of them come with those plastics and some of them don't. more expensive TE90 did not. I am probably going to need to clean sawdust out of this. Let's see how tight the neck is. Yeah, feels like a good fit. Oh, there's a shim. <laughs> there's a shim. A little wood shim that they stuck in there. Oh, no, it's not stuck. It's just kind of there. There's a tiny little shim. So at least they, they realized that they, they needed a shim in this one. Oh yeah, I'm gonna clean up the back of this in my in my in my pad. All right, that cleaning is done. Uh, the back of the heel where they put the screws in, much nicer than the TE90 was. Um, and you know what? They said this was caramelized. I thought um, that meant it was it just had kind of a um, coating on it but it's not it's mm, half roasted uh, the caramelization goes all the way down inside those holes which of course you won't be able to see at all but take my word for it it does <laughs> okay so we'll check out the neck afterwards the uh, yeah, this has a uh, a curvy radius to it also. A little bit, I don't know if it's equal all the way down. I have radius gauges on the way to me as well. They won't be here for a while. I'm trying to check some of this stuff out. Finally finally bought some of those. Um, I think this is a tusk nut. I'm, I'm not going to have to do anything with that. Yeah, so this is a very nice neck. And these tuners are... You know, not, not the cheapy, cheapy ones. And uh, the responsiveness of the keys is pretty good on them. They do not have, uh, you know, the style doesn't have the screws to be able to tighten the buttons. So you can tell uh, with the gearings that, like, these are nice and tight up here. This one's loosey. This one's tight. And this one's tight. So this one's a little bit loosey. And... Yeah, so I've got one again, which is um, got a little bit of slop in it. Quite a bit of slop, actually. Half a turn. And all the other ones are very responsive in both directions. And they don't come apart, do they? Maybe they do. 
I think the cover might come off if I take the screw out and I could take a look in there and find out like what's going on with that one maybe there's just a washer or something that's missing to tighten that up and make that gearing better we'll see we'll see I think I might just try that while we're doing all of this stuff anyway so the neck pocket is a very nice on this one it's a very light body this is uh, I'm sure it's poplar or basswood or something I'm kind of bad it's very white hardwood I'm sure it's not it shouldn't be softwood but you never know it's very light and the neck pocket was obviously um, masked off uh, when it was painted there's not that much paint on you can tell here by the, the taping but they did uh, have a little shim in there anyway so I'll measure that and uh, I'll see what it is and if I've got something close to that uh, if I lose it or if I need something a little bit different we'll we'll fix it so that it works right so I took measurements of this uh, board with my ruler and the width is one and a half no one and five eighths wide it's one oh two and five eighths long so one and five eighths and two and five eighths so I'm gonna make that about an eighth of an inch wider uh, in all directions and try to cut out this rectangle with the router um, to make it fit um, and because I bought the Forstner bits once I get this thing I'm gonna tape it I'm gonna draw it and then I'm gonna tape it maybe I can use one of those unpopulated pick guards to uh, where is it just to make a mark like where does it go oh I should have done that with it on neck on shouldn't I yes I should have I should have outlined where the pick guard would go so I'll have to redo that um, kind of temporarily tack that back on so I can fit that and uh, make this outline so I I know where my my boundaries are here all the way up and around I kind of see where it was before but I should go with the one that I decide to go with you know I'm partial to pearl right Well, yeah, and uh, it might matter also where that goes with the Wilkinson bridge mounted and not the, uh, the one that came with it. So if I use that hole there, as I said I could, I'm going to put this thing here. How does it look? Yeah, I think I can probably squiggle that in there. I might even be able to use this hole up here as a base because it's like right on that one. And then, then just position it so that, uh, yeah, so this pick guard lines up with none of the rest using this one here. And that's okay we know how to do that so I think I'm gonna be okay with this uh, bridge don't have to worry about where the pick guard goes and if there is a, nee, 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 a little shaving okay I've got some uh, things to do 
which uh, I won't bore you with. <laughs>